we'll move on to the third question. Hari coaching classes charges fees as follows. And when I'm reading the problem, you also will have to do the same thing. Examination, don't be in a hurry. Read the problem slowly and clearly. Read the problem in this period what I'm reading. In your exam, time is not a challenge. You have enough time. So read the problem slowly and clearly. Students from urban area, 5,000 per student. Students from rural area, 2,000 per student. For physically challenged students, no fees. For poor students, no fees. There are 10 students from each category. Each of them is a category now. Find out the one value of taxable service rendered to service tax payable on the services. Here we'll observe that no method has been specified in the problem. The problem doesn't say use inclusive formula or exclusive formula. It does not give a clue whatsoever. In those sort of cases, we have this note. When problem does not specify any method, we'll have to use inclusive formula. Problem doesn't say there's a small thing I would like to mention. The standard textbooks, be it Gaur or be it Swaminathan or be it your nearest scanner or any textbook or scanner will always mention that if the problem is silent, we'll have to use exclusive formula. All textbooks are written that if the problem is silent, we'll have to use exclusive formula. This is what is given in the act and we have been following so far. This is how the book has been written. But recently in the Bangalore University workshop, what has been conducted, it has been decided that if the problem is silent, inclusive formula is to be used. Since it has been given as a directive by the Bangalore University, follow this formula. Please don't go by any textbooks. You are not writing your answers for textbooks. You are writing your answers for Bangalore University. So use Bangalore University directive. This has come out in the recent workshop what we had a week ago in Bangalore University. And the blueprint is yet awaited. Once you get the blueprint, you can see this for yourself. If problem is silent, like in this case, then use inclusive formula. So when you're reading a textbook and you see an exclusive formula used there, don't get confused. You use inclusive formula. Now in this problem, what has been asked is, let us rearrange and see how it goes. Serial number, then the category, number of students, rate per student, and value of taxable service. You can give a rough ruling with your pen, preferably with a different color. There's no need to be perfect in the pen ruling. It's a matter that's more important, not the pencil or pen ruling. Alankara ala amele. First matter correct agidre, full marks. Serial number. In this problem, we have serial number one. Students from urban area. Students from number of students, each category 10 students. So 10. Rate per student is 5,000. 10 into 5,000, 50,000. Second category, students from rural area. Number of students, each category 10 students, so 10. Rate per student is 2,000 rupees. Total 2,000 into 10, 20,000. Category 3, for physically challenged students, no fees. Physically challenged students, 
students, 10 students, no fees. The reason being no consideration, it is not service taxable. Let me take a minute off from this problem and explain a few things to you. Taxable service means when it is matched with activity plus consideration. Consideration means the act does not define what is consideration, but section 67 states consideration includes in monetary terms, consideration in monetary terms, non-monetary consideration, deferred consideration and exchanges. I am not going to the detailed theory part of it. In short, consideration means something given in return. Consideration means something received in return. I will explain this through an example. Anil gives files income tax returns Anil is a CA. He files income tax returns to income tax returns of Ram. Ram is an engineer. This is a service given by Anil to Ram. Ram in turn pays cash to Anil. In this case, Ram receives filing of income tax returns as an activity as a service. So, this is consideration for Ram and for Anil, he receives cash from Ram. So, this is consideration for Anil. So, what is received in return is consideration. Anil is giving filing of income tax returns and receives cash. This is receiving in return. So, this is consideration for Anil. For Ram, receiving the services is consideration. Ram is giving cash, so he is receiving the services. So, this is consideration for Ram. So, consideration is something received in return. Only when these two activities are there together, it forms taxable service. So, this is a classic example of activity plus consideration resulting in taxable service. I will give an example where only activity is there, but no consideration. For instance, ISKCON people give free food to children. So, that is only an activity, consideration zero. So, only activity, consideration zero does not result in taxable service. Let us take another case where only consideration, no activity again will not result in taxable service, will not be equal to. I will give an example for only consideration. Bill Gates says, okay, I will give you 1 crore rupees, Bangalore University students, all of them to be passed without giving their exams. So, he is just giving a consideration, no activity received in return, then it is not a taxable service. Hope this happens. Anyway, let us see what happens. So, this is an example for activity plus consideration. Only if both of them are present, it will result in taxable services. So, coming back to this sum, there is no consideration, physically challenged students, no fees, no consideration, so not a taxable service. Category 4, for poor students, again 10 students, no consideration, not a taxable service, totally we have 70,000 rupees, total value of taxable service, 70,000 value of service rendered, taxable service. So, this is an answer to question number 1. Now, we will go on to service tax payable, question number 2.
the problem is silent about which method to be used. When the problem does not specify any method, we will have to use inclusive formula. So, inclusive formula is service tax payable is equal to gross amount into 12.36 divided by 112.36. So, gross amount is If we work this out on the calculator, it is 70,000 into 12.36 divided by 112.36, Let me work this once again into 12.36 divided by 112.36. 7700 this is the value so service tax payable is 7700 so we have worked out both the things value of taxable services is 7700 and service tax payable so we have solved this question both the items is being solved. Any doubts? <coughs>